Hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News. Today I want to tell you about that one time I was wrong and the bump stock ban ruling, which isn't really a ruling, plus lots more. But before we get started, I want to tell you about the wholesome, non-GMO, free-range, sugar-free, gluten-free, 99% cruelty-free night vision products offered to you by our friends at TNVC.com. Handcrafted by honest, hard-working Amish operators using traditional old country techniques, TNVC Night Vision is hearty and refreshing, just like you. If you like seeing stuff more than not seeing stuff, take a look at our sponsor, TNVC.com, your source for quality night vision gear to make you the bump in the night. I want to apologize for reporting incorrectly that Louisiana passed constitutional carry. I was wrong one other time in my life when I thought I had been wrong, but I turned out to be mistaken. So I suppose it is possible it could happen again. The House and Senate indeed passed the bill, and my reading of Louisiana statute indicated the bill passed into law without the governor's signature 10 days after it was passed. but. What I fail to note is, since this law was passed within 10 days of the end of the legislative session, that gave the governor 20 days instead of 10 days. Governor Edwards courageously waited until the very last day before SB 118 would have passed into law, vetoing it on the 25th of June and saying, I am a strong supporter of the Second Amendment and an enthusiastic outdoorsman and hunter which is relevant because the Founding Fathers wrote the Second Amendment after fighting a long and bloody war with deer. Edwards has stubbornly maintained that the people of Louisiana should not be allowed to exercise their fundamental human right to be armed without the consent of the king, but there may be enough votes in the legislature for an override. So. Whether or not you live in the Bayou State, please make this a priority and stop what you're doing, pause this video, and call one of these two numbers to speak with a politicritter, or use those links down there in the doobly-doo for the House and Senate member rosters. Urge them to hold an override session. Explain to them the breathless predictions of blood in the streets haven't come true in a single one of the 21 other states which already have permitless carry and tell them permitting schemes disproportionately harm the poor and minorities. You know how the founders went to great lengths to strictly limit government authority and separate the powers in three separate but equal branches just so the executive branch could rewrite law in whichever way they want and just go ahead and dictate with supreme authority. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the opposite of what they wanted, right? So when President Trump's ATF the AFT. simply invented a new definition of machine gun from whole cloth, that was blatantly counter to the way our government is supposed to function. And that's why a three-judge panel of the Sixth Circuit ruled the bump stock ban was illegal way back in March. They agreed with the GOA that bump stocks are not machine guns and that Chevron deference can only be applied to administrative law, not criminal law. But they put a stay on their own decision and now the court has vacated the earlier ruling and granted an en banc hearing. What does that mean? Well, not much, really. Uh, en banc means the entire court will revisit the case. Technically, the ban is still in place, although the ATF the AFT. is probably loath to enforce it. Regardless of how the full court rules, the losing party will almost certainly appeal. While obviously bump stocks are directly at the center of this issue, the real question is whether the courts will allow the ATF the AFT. to continue making up law on their own. Ultimately, this ruling should have broad-ranging impact on issues such as the proposed rule changes for braces and receivers. If you want to help the GOA fight for your rights, please take the time to go to donate.gunowners.org and give generously. Gundustry News! 
Smith and Wesson has a new variation on their sport utility rifle. The M&P 15T2 is similar to their M&P 15T, but with a Magpul CTR stock, Smith and Wesson flavored pistol grip, full length handguard, and a few other upgrades. MSRP is $1,372, which seems not oddly specific. Primary Arms sent me their Cyclops Gen 2, which I've been looking forward to for quite some time. I was really impressed with their earlier version, and this newer, more compact version is brighter, has longer battery life, and auto-magically turns itself on with movement. It also has a thicker chevron and a wider 65 MOA circle. I'm working on a review of this version, so stay tuned, but you can pre-order right now for $250, and they should be shipping in August. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy watching these things, because I sure do like making them for you. Hey, kids, do you want to get email alerts for the best deals, projects we're working on, and the hottest stuff you missed on the ARPCOM forums? You bet you do. So go ahead and hit that Linktree link down there in the doobly-doo and sign up for our newsletter. And remember, our robot overlords in the tube of views know what we want better than we do for ourselves. So they routinely unsubscribe viewers from channels like this, which could contain wrong think. That makes puppies cry, and Captain America is very disappointed. So don't forget to check every now and then and make sure you're still subscribed to us. And if you want to stay tuned to all the 2A news that changes your life, make sure you ring that notification bell. If you want to help us keep bringing you banger content like this, please support the folks who support us. Not only does TNVC.com give you night vision with that cool, refreshing, never bitter taste that goes down smooth, they also have mounts, lights, and all sorts of other gear to make you the bump in the night. I love you. Bye.